good morning and welcome back to the channel so i figured in today's video i would just turn the camera on while i'm sitting here making a bunch of necklaces so i am really really enjoying making jewelry um who would have thunk right so everybody knew that i liked making um charms and everything like that for journals and bottle tops like i love making these guys sorry i moved my camera so it is way closer down to the mat uh, because I'm working with beads a lot more. So I figured I would get down here so you guys could see what I was doing. So anyway, um, yeah, who would have thunk it, right? It's crazy. So anyway, um, let me show you guys some of the things that I've been working on. So this is a bracelet. This was actually one of the very first things that I made. Um, I do not have any of this stuff up on the shop yet. Uh, maybe by the time this goes up, it might get up there. But I'm actually waiting for a necklace mannequin to get here so I can take pictures of my necklaces. Because I have made <laughs> a couple <laughs> necklaces. So this one is a turquoise and it's kind of more like sea foam than turquoise, but it's um, a green and purple mixture with a seahorse, a sea star, and a moon charm on it. Uh, and this does fit quite nicely on my wrist and I wear a seven and a half wrist or my wrist is seven and a half. This is actually the one that I just got done making this evening. This is a mermaid blue and gold. It's got the dark and light, nice, rich, uh, blue, purpley colored, uh, blues. So there's some blue and purple in these guys here. They do dangle. They're just, they're in Ziploc bags because, um, fashion jewelry you should secure in, um, as close to airtight as possible containers so hence the ziploc box anyway um and there this is a choker and i can show you guys what this looks like just to give you kind of an idea of what they look like so this one this one very well might be my favorite but this is what it looks like she's just hanging on there and i did make this little thing right here i did make that Right there i might have to turn my autofocus back on just so you guys can see this stuff so this is what it looks like on and i love it because it's like it wraps around and if you're like a super tiny person i'd made one of these and i walked up to my youngest daughter who is eight by the way she'll be nine in a couple weeks but i walked up to her and i was like hey come here let me try this on you and she's like, mom, that's not going to fit. It's going to fall off. And it wrapped around like this, but it fit her. And that's the glory of these necklaces. Like there's no attachment. So I wouldn't go and do jumping jacks or anything with them on and don't do like cartwheels or anything like that. But if just you're going shopping or whatever, and you would just, I don't know, you want to add something that looks a little different, you know, um, these things are amazing. And oh my gosh, they're so much fun to make um but anyway they fit on my neck uh i even tried one on my husband and like i wrapped it around him and it didn't connect but it fit and he wears a 14 and a half uh shirt so like collar so that might tell you something i'm not sure but the glory of this is, is it doesn't matter if you have a small, teeny, tiny eight-year-old neck or if you have a large, like, you know, uh, a plus size neck, you know, I, I had a fluffy neck for the longest time, but fortunately, you know, when I started losing weight, it came off my neck and my face. <laughs> but anyway, um, so... I'm going to show you guys. This is going to probably be a little bit of a longer video, but I know you guys don't mind. So there's the mermaid and the blue and gold. And this one, oh my gosh, this one I had so much fun with too. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with the wire wrapping. The wire wrapping is a lot of fun. So let me turn my autofocus back off and maybe the, the thing might actually work. So this is what this one looks like. 
Like it is just, it's really, really cool. And this one is a little bit bigger than the last one. So this one, it does overlap in the back. Um, so it overlaps right here. That's how much it overlaps for me. Oops. Like the blues overlap basically. What's up? Um, let's see if I can turn you back off. All right. So don't mind you, this guy right here, come on, you know you can do it. I've never actually used autofocus, so I don't know if it'll pick it up or not. Oop. Come on. Okay, well, maybe not. Anyway, so that is the red and blue. Um, this is another version of red and blue. It's kind of like a, a blue, a light blue with a red orange red. And that's kind of what we're messing with today as well. Yeah, we're not going to sit there with that on. And uh, we're going to do a red orange with a blue green. So I'm pretty excited for that. I uh, got another bracelet here. This one also, this is what started the whole thing because I was like, wow, this could be used as a choker. So this is the wire that I normally use to make my bracelets. But I was joking around and I was like, I wonder. And I put it on my neck and it fit like a choker. So I thought that was very interesting and that's what started the whole thing. <laughs> but I am really, really, really enjoying this whole process. It's so amazing. Um, so that's another bracelet, but again, it could be used as um, a, jo a, a joker, a choker or a bracelet. It will be priced as a bracelet, not a necklace. Um, but I still am, I'm up in the air with the prices right now because they're kind of all over the place. Um, and they're kind of high, actually. Um, so this is a blue and red. And I believe we did this one the other day together. And this one is a green and purple. And again, I did some wire wrapping here because I wanted to make sure that this piece right here was secure. It's kind of a heavier piece, but just to give you an idea, this piece is also, it doesn't look, it looks like it would be really big, like really long, but it's really not. Like it hangs down, but the necklace that I wear constantly over is longer than this. And it's very loose, like it just kind of dangles. But that's what that one looks like. So let's put that back in there. But anyway, I'm waiting on a, um, a necklace mannequin um, to come in. And it's supposed to be here Thursday. But I'm still having stuff get stuck in the mail. Like I've had one thing, which is really funny to me. It started from Virginia and it went up to Maryland before it came before its destination, which is in South Carolina. Um, this one is an orange and red. Very pretty. And then this one is a multi blue, a multi colored blue and red. And these are really, really cool. I'm going to have to get more of these. They're Firestone um, gems or they're Firestone crystals. And I'm going to have to get some more of them, <laughs> but they're a little pricey. So they're more than I'm, I'm normally willing to pay, <laughs> but um, they're really, really pretty. And I love this necklace. Anyway, so that's what I have done so far. And... I think I have a problem. So anyway, I figured I wanted to make, um, so I've made, what was it? 
I've made a tree branch, I've made a mermaid, and I've made a seahorse bracelet, and I have made a dragonfly. I figured, why not make a unicorn? So that's what we're going to play with. And we're going to do the red oranges with the greens. So that color combination theoretically should work well together, but I'm not entirely sure that it will. But I did cut a little bit of extra wire on this because I do want to use some of these bigger gems. Uh, like I want to use some of these bigger crystals specifically these guys um, because they're just so pretty. Okay. And I have no idea what I'm going to do yet. I've just grabbed a couple beads and I figured we would go from there. Uh, I know I've got some of the beads out. I just don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. And that to me is sometimes some of the most fun part of the entire process is trying to figure out what you're going to do, you know? And I've got some pretty pretties here. Sorry, I have to keep looking up to make sure that what I see, you can see. Um, because I forget. And I literally just moved my camera. This cannot stay in this bag. I'm going to have to move this into a different bag. Because as soon as I cut this, they're going to go everywhere. Yes. Oh, there are multiple layers. Are there multiple strands? I didn't realize that. All right. Well, we'll just do the one strand for now, I guess. All right. Okay. All right. So let's see. I think I don't have any seed beads for the green. I didn't pull any of those out. Oh my gosh, I have so many green beads, which is why I keep doing green everything. Um, I have so many green. This is just seed beads. That's it. Hey, baby. Baby. I'm recording. Geeks. Um, so I want to do like a blue green and here is a blue green mix, which is really, really great for these bracelets and, and necklaces. So I'm going to pull that out and so as you guys can see, he's home. So it's, it's evening time for us. We, we literally just sat down and had dinner and everything. Um, my son made macaroni and cheese. Um, I had to go back and fix the macaroni and cheese because he just, he, he just made boxed macaroni and cheese, but he didn't stir it up all the way. And so it wasn't hot anymore, like piping hot anymore. So the cheese didn't melt. So I had to go back and fix it, <laughs> but that's okay. Cause that's what mamas do, right? All right. So We've got this one here, and I think we can come up with something in there to go with this guy here. Oh, I made that too. Made that little T-bone, if you will. That was kind of fun. I liked that. All right, let's see. I want to see if I can, I want to see if I can't get a seed bead in between this, actually. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but I might. 
it might it might be a thing I figured out why I kept dropping the beads. Because you're not really supposed to be picking them up. <laughs> it's just like pick them up with your wire. Oh my gosh. I don't know if this is going to let me do it. Alright, let's do it this way. This is how you're supposed to do it. Pick them up like that. But, now I have to bring it all the way back out to the end. And hope that I can keep it on the wire. Maybe. Oh, I see it. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, I'm glad that worked out because that looks really cool. All right, so now I don't have any part of this necklace sealed off yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to work from the middle um, out. So I'm going to go on one side and then I'm going to go the other and so on and so forth. But at the very, very start of it, I'm going to be working both sides simultaneously because I want to try to get the middle built before I work on the outer sides. Okay. Alright, just making sure y'all can still see what I'm doing. I don't like that. And right now I'm just trying to figure out a good design. I kind of like that. Let's see, what else can I do with this? <clears throat> now those are kind of cool. It sounds like I have a bird chirping in my house. I do not have a bird. I'm not real sure what that noise is, but I really, really love this bead, but I need to build it up. And I'm okay using larger beads because I did put the wire on to accommodate for the larger beads. 
so it should be fine. All right, let's go with this one, the lighter blue. There we go. I think we got it. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So now I'm going to go work on this side. And we're going to mimic what we just did. So we can put this one down. It's not going to go anywhere at the moment. So we've got the lighter blue. Nope, we need an orange one first. So we need an orange one, followed by the lighter blue one, followed by the turquoise colored. Actually, that's more teal colored. And this is actually a wood bead, wood bead which I thought was really cool. The crystal, the spacer, and then the light colored bead. And let's put our, our shell colored bead here. Actually, it's not shell colored. It is shell. I'm just not sure. It's like mother of pearl. Um, is what it looks like. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. I like that. I need more orange, I think. Hmm. I think we should take these two out. Out. And grab a couple of these because these kind of look shelly like as well. And they don't need to be the big ones, they can be the smaller ones. Okay. I like the other side better. I'm just going to flip it around. There we go. And there we go. Yes, just like that. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of masking tape because I, I need to be able to get back to the side. So I'm just going to tape. I'm just going to tape the side of it. Nothing fancy, just enough to where it doesn't come off. And then I'm going to start working on this side. All right, and now let's figure out what kind of pattern we want to do. So I really want to use these guys and these guys together. So I was thinking about doing like every other one. And then just kind of throwing those in between somewhere. That's what I was thinking. I think those would probably be better, actually. 
We're going to use these guys instead. Okay. All right, let's see what you look like with every other one. Okay. Now, let's see. We're going to do... Nor the pink. I think that is not enough orange. Too much green. So I've got an idea. And this is what I do when I when I make these things. I just I put them on, take them off, put them on, take them off, put them on, take them off. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's what I do. So let's go with orange, green, orange, green, orange. Okay. See what you look like. Oh, yeah, that's a lot better. All right. Now let's find. Mm. I think we could probably get away with doing these guys here in the middle. And then go to green, orange, green, orange, green. And then this guy in the middle. Orange. Green. Orange. Green. And orange. Okay. Yep, I like that. I like that a lot. That is a very interesting color combination for sure. All right. So let's do one more set here and then go to the other side. And then we're going to throw one of these guys in here, like that. Okay. And then we're going to take our little pink tape. And put it on the other side. And you could just rip it if you wanted to. This is mask and tape. I'm going to try to keep using the same piece of tape, but there we go. Alright, so there we go. Now, I uh, did put the clear crystal first. And then we're going to do orange, green. Orange, green, orange. Okay. Uh, clear ish, green, orange, green, orange, 
and green. Okay. Like an ish. Going to be orange. And what's really great about this is you might spend a lot of time doing it, but if you really don't like it, you really hate it, you can take it all off and start again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Done that a couple times. It is, uh, definitely keeps things interesting, that's for sure. Took me all day long to do the dragonfly one because I kept taking them off. Put it on, take it off. Put it on, take it off. I'm supposed to have something coming in the mail that's supposed to make, it's a, another beading mat, but it's supposed to make my life a little bit easier, but it's stuck in Maryland. <laughs> All right. So we have quite a bit of necklace left to play with here. So let's see, what do we want to do with it? Okay, now what we could do is we could just kind of do these shells all across the back. Um, I don't really want to do that. What about if I do this? Hmm. Very interesting. Okay. So that's an orange. That's a shell. That's an orange. That's a shell. That's three shells. And then another clear one here. Okay. And then we could do, let's see, what could we do? Just to finish off the green. Green, oh, orange, green, orange, orange, and one more green. And we should be able to let's do. Let's do one of these at the back. Okay. Like that. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and close this off. I like to wrap mine um, with, okay, this one might be a little hard. Uh, let me go ahead and tape it. I'm going to go ahead and tape it um, because I want to show you guys how I loop or how I close things. Um, so, but I, in order to do that, I really need to get the beads off the mat. So before I do that, let's go ahead and finish up this other side. Okay, hold that. All right. What did we do? Shell, orange shell. No, orange shell. Yeah, orange and shell. Okay. Okay. Just like that, and then. Clear the back, and then green, orange, green, 
orange, and green. And then one of you. Okay. It's actually pretty perfect. All right. So we're going to go ahead and close this off as well. Clean up the beads a little bit so I can show you guys how I close these off. And I don't really do the whole editing thing because it's a pain in the tush. So just uno momento, por favor. And besides, you guys can see how I store my beads. A lot of people have asked me, how do you store all those beads? In little plastic zippy bags. A lot of little plastic zippy bags. Some of them come that way. And if the bag is sturdy, like the writing, don't bother me. The bag is what I am concerned about. Like, is the bag going to hold up to me? Open, close, open, close, open, close. That's what I want to know. And if it is, it can stay in there. If it's not, then I change it. And I use my little scoopy tool because it's fun. You know, for the longest time, I was like, I need a spoon. <laughs> I had one the whole time. It was in my little toolkit. Although now I don't even use the toolkit. I have all of my tools in the basket beside me. Because I'm just using them constantly. And even when I'm not using them, I leave them in the basket and I just put the basket on um, on my table next to me. And that's it. Alright, I am going to need another bag though. For these guys. I am just going to take this whole wire. Because these are on a wire. So I'm just going to take the whole kit and caboodle. Fold it in half. Put it in bag. I'm not going to take all of these off the wire right now. Maybe later. Maybe not. I don't know. Oh, I guess these were the ones I decided to throw because before I was trying to pick them up. It's not so bad to pick them up when I can stick one of the little parts of the tweezers in the hole. But if I'm trying to thread the hole with my wire, that makes that a little difficult. So, all right, so I've got everything closed up, I believe. Just kind of double checking here with the bags. All right. So now what we're going to do is this stuff's not really that important. It's just some clippings from when I was doing the wrapping, the wire wrapping. All right. So now the first thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that the other side isn't going to go anywhere. So make sure that it's taped and it's taped. So, oi. I'm going to start with the longest side, which I think is this one. It doesn't matter because they're both going to end up around the same anyway. So I'm just going to take my wires here, push the end all the way to the end, and then turn and push down. You see how it wrapped around my tweezers? My tweezers. They're not tweezers. My pliers. Now I'm going to reposition my pliers. I'm going to grab it again and I'm going to turn again. Okay. And I'm going to keep turning until I have two loops on my clasp here. Not my clasp, but my, my closure. Okay. Now I'm going to take the other side and do the same thing, but I'm going to push. Okay. Don't push too hard because you don't want it to push into your closure. Like that's pushed into the closure. You don't want that. So unpush it. You want to lessen up just a smidge. And then take your 
pliers and push that back down. Okay. All right. So having a little bit of movement is fine. I'm actually going to cut this because this is way too long. There is a, also there's a very big difference between these cutters and these cutters. If you try to use these cutters on this wire, you're going to break these cutters. These are wire cutters. Yes, this is wire. It's very hard wire and you will cut them. You will not, your, your wire cutters will not like you anymore. Think. I got it. All right. So again, we've got our wire here. We're just going to take it. I go with the grain of the wire. So if it's turning in one direction, I will take it and I'll twist it in that direction. So again, you just take your wire and roll. Okay. And again, I like to have two wraps and this is too many so i'm going to unroll it just a smidge i'm not very good at gauging how much wire i need i'm actually really bad at it <laughs> that one flew all right there we go And perfect. All right, now essentially this is done. But what I like to do is I go a little bit further than necessary. I will take this inner piece right here. You see that piece right there? It's like poking out, you see it? Well, it for one, it's not really poking out because the way that I twisted it. But, <laughs> but I will take this one little piece here I will grab it with my needle, or not my needle nose, my round tip pliers. I'll grab the loop with the, my flat nose pliers. I'll grab the inside of the loop with this, grab the end with my round nose pliers, and I will curl that one little tail inward even more, okay? And so what that does is it allows me to push it inside this circle, okay? And the reason that I want to push it inside the circle is so it's not touching anyone's skin. Because I don't know about you, but I don't like wearing jewelry where it pokes me. I don't like wearing tags that poke me. I don't like wearing jewelry that pokes me. So... I will take the whole shebang and I will just twist until it is to my liking to where I feel like it is adequate enough that it is not going to poke. Now, being just being there is fine as long as it doesn't poke. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing to this side. Uh, there you are. I'm going to grab my little tail here. And sometimes it's a little more difficult than others. All right. All right, so I am curling it, but it's just going up instead of down. So now I'm going to take my flat nose pliers and I'm just going to squish it. I'm going to squish it in first. Okay. And once it's in, I'm going to take that little tip right there and I'm going to push it down. I just needed to grab another pair of pliers. 
So I'm going to hold this because I want it to hold its shape. I don't want it to distort the shape at all. So I'm going to grab the other pair of pliers to make sure that that doesn't happen. And I'm going to feel it. That is the ultimate test is the feel of it. Okay, so that's it. I think it turned out really cool, actually. All right, and so this is what it looks like. That's pretty awesome. I like it. And we might actually be able to zoom in. There you go. That's the wrong way. There you go. Voila. All right. See? I think it turned out really cute, actually. Um, let's zoom you guys back out. <laughs> All right. So anyway, I think it turned out super cute. I really like it. Um, I like how I was able to get the seed beads in between these two little spirals here. Because this thing, that thing is hard to make. Oh my word, this was hard to make. So anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's a little bit longer, but I know you guys like the longer videos. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys liked it. And um, I hope you guys don't mind me playing with the jewelry because I really do enjoy the jewelry a lot. I still enjoy the paper crafting. Obviously, the journals are a lot of fun. But the jewelry, that's 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 kind of where my, my attention is at the moment. So <laughs> that's what you guys are seeing. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this. And as always, keep doing everything that makes you happy and enjoy your day and love yourself. So thank you guys, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.